Schitt's Log, 17 February 1979, 0845 hours. Position 7 degrees north latitude, 73 degrees east longitude. Engineers have informed us we're going to have to change the cylinder head. Number one cylinder head on number one main is it's leaking exhaust gas too bad. This is the fifth day of the leak. We're now cruising the outer reef of I Heaven Diffalu Atoll, the northernmost island of the Maldive Islands. We're cruising the reef because the seas are quite rough and this gives us the calmest weather so the engineers can remove the head on the engine to do the repairs. While we're cruising the reef, this war canoe was about 17 local natives came out. One of them was a chief in the center. Asked what we were doing. He could speak some English fairly well. And we told him we had an engine breakdown. They offered to guide us into the lagoon through the dangerous reefs as there were no charts of this area. And you can see how they're waving and pointing the way. So we went in. Upon entering the lagoon, we were greeted by quite a few more of these what we later discovered to be war canoes with anywhere from 30 to 50 people in each one. They came out. Medical officer Tom Wimkin is here lowering the anchor in 110 foot of water inside the lagoon. He was the first one to be captured when the attack began a short time later. Captain Leonard is down at the main deck now giving free fuel and diesel fuel and some oil to the local natives. They even came out with their kids at first and started doing some trading. <laughs> as they started grabbing things off the boat or old bombs and everything they could get their hands on. As you can see in the pictures, the uh, decks are covered with them and there's over 15 of the war canoes tied to the stern of our boat. The engine room is under a complete siege and closed up right now and I'm taking these from the pilot house as more and more of them come aboard. Leonard, the ship's second officer, were quickly captured, thrown into the canoe, and taken ashore, leaving us very short-handed. The engineers were barricaded in the engine room, trying to repair the cylinder head as quickly as they could. As you can see, more and more of them are coming aboard every moment. All the war canoes at the stern, they're all tied to our boat, and more and more, all around the horizon, as far as we could see, more and more these natives were coming. It was something like out of a Jungle Jim movie of the 1920s. We couldn't believe this was real. Even this plane circling us from the island capital of Mali with government officials in it were telling us to leave the boat. They were taking the boat apart right out from under us. They did over $60,000 damage. The sun was going down. They were getting very threatening. They tried to hang their crew with ropes, with nooses. They threw spears at us. Down in the engine room, this is what the engineers were doing. This is one of what is, happens when a cylinder head is replaced. Now this is not an actual, this movie wasn't taken during the actual attack. This we added in a little later when one of the other heads had cracked and broken. There's Tom who was actually captive at this time. This was just to show what was going on in the engine room. This was the actual job that was taking place while we were under attack. of our vessel by the islanders of Ivan Dipalu Island in the Indian Ocean.
water saw hooked over into the trough. I'm going to hook this rope to it. Thank you. 